Hello, this is Mr. Vanskoy. I am going to talk about Science Fair in this uh, video, specifically about background research. Uh, let's see here. Look, and you can see that I'm logged into Moodle. I'm in the Science Fair section and the Science Fair 105 assignment. Uh, look at the project list for your Science Fair inquiry level. If you, uh, click on the links or view the handouts that we have in class to read the project summaries. Consider which experiment you would most likely complete. Read the experiment background section in that in those handouts or the ones that I've provided online. Uh, I have different Science Fair 105 assignments set up depending on your inquiry level. There will be some extra links in those uh, assignments that you can check out. Uh, read the experiment background section and write down any important ideas, a minimum of three facts or three bits of information in the science fair section of your science notebook. Make sure that you include the source. Most of the time that'll be the website, the web address, and be as specific as possible on that website. Don't just tell me that you found it on Google or that you found it in Wikipedia or Science Buddies. List the specific website. Uh, and again here you can see the the research that we're doing is at a very basic level so don't be scared off by that word um, you do not have to go out and read volumes and volumes book after book page after page on your subject but I do want you to be a little familiar with something about your subject before you do an experiment on it uh, I've got an example here this is from the science buddies experiment called Gone with the Wind, an experiment of seed and fruit dispersal. Dispersal is just kind of a fancy science way of saying the way that something is spread around or spread out. Uh, these are some facts that I thought were interesting. You can see that I have them in quotes because I copied this right from the background information that Science Buddies provided on this experiment. Fact one, if plants grow too closely together, they compete for light, water, and nutrients. Fact two, seed dispersal allows offspring to be spread over a wide area and decreases the competition between offspring. Fact number three, in flowering plants like apples, trees, one or more seeds are housed within a fruit. And fact number four that I thought was helpful or interesting, burdock fruits have hooks that attach to an animal's furry coat. And of course, if you've ever walked through Burdocks yourself, they stick to your clothes pretty good too. Um, so if you are doing one of the inquiry projects, uh, level one, two, or three, you can select one of those projects and the, the research is really already done for you. You just need to read the paragraph or two that's listed on Science Buddies. Hit those specific pages. If you are doing an inquiry, uh, an independent project on your own or with a partner but you've you've decided to choose your own question or find your own question on one of our, the science fair helper websites you are going to be doing what's called independent background research uh, in requirements are the same so just three bits of information three facts an independent experiment may require more work on the part of the young scientist if you are completing an experiment from Science Buddies, How to Smile, or a similar website, then you may use the process for background research using an experiment website, one that I just went over. Um, if you have come up with your own question, you're going to start by writing down both the topic and the question in your science notebook. You will use that topic and question to identify what are called keywords. A keyword is a word that is essential to communicating, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, something that's really, really important for getting your idea across. You'll circle the keywords. Keywords quite often are common noun, uh, common or proper nouns, but they can also be other words too. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, maybe words, we're not gonna worry about that too much. Um, if you wanna see some more information there's a video from google you can watch see how how search works and let me actually click on an example here that they did with um, a question where they had circled some of the kind of important or uh, essential words in a sentence here 
Again, those would be called the keywords. All right, so the question they have here is called, what are, reads, what food does Tyson like best? You can see they've circled the word food, Tyson, and like best. So when you are, if you are going to do research on this question, you would not type in the entire question into Google or Bing or some other search, search engine. You would type in these keywords and maybe try some different combinations of those keywords. Um, if you need some extra help with that, I've got some links here. Of course, you can ask three of your classmates, and if that doesn't help you out, then by all means, please come see me. I hope this tutorial helps, and good luck with your background research.